pa 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 pow what's up everybody what is up guys yo uh we're epic quest random adventures uh it must be the end the last sunday of the month because we're here live on twitch uh my name is brad mutant 13 i'm hoy sensation what's up everybody let the people kind of filter in do the thing come on in guys have a seat yeah we tell you we're on time we're on time one o'clock you just be ready to click that button because we're there on time every time on time every time and you know what while we're waiting for everybody to come in you know what we should do we should just go over on facebook real quick and tell them we're gonna cross platforms here Tell these. Tell the Facebookers we're here. Tell tell them we're here. We're live. It's on on the thing. Yeah, live video. All right, start the live video. We got all the broadcasting capabilities going on. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Yo, we don't know which camera to look in because we're using all the cameras and all the stuff. Uh, we're live on Twitch right now, so get your ass over to Twitch right now. Right now. And join us. We're live. So okay. that was fun. We were See, double live. We were double live. Is, <laughs> is that li- well? We're not any type of um, on any what do they call it a partner any of that crap on Twitch. Oh, so yeah. we we can do whatever. Oh my God, junkheads in the house. What up, my man? Colt Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what up, junkhead? We're just letting everybody filter in. Yep, as usual. So, yeah. Today's um, stream will be talking about the twi- 2022 gathering of the Juggalos. Yep. We talk all, a lot about that. All the freshness going on there. Uh, we'll touch a little bit upon the um, Solar Rise Challenge that I just completed. The first official of. Uh, Grand thirteen, a Grand thirteen theory challenge has been completed. The very first one. I've started many other ones, but this is the first one I've actually a hundred percent. It is done, and it's a little. <laughs> God damn, Terry! <laughs> now look at this. Cyril infections in the house. House got Jay. What's up? Be there. What up? Yes, and uh, let's see here. Junkhead said, "Got Jay finna be." Uh, uh, little Liddy, yep. We're gonna oh, be yeah. lit. A little yeah. bit. Yep. Yeah. And Junkhead's like, can't wait to see you, Cyrell Infection. I I can't wait to see Junkhead and Cyrell Infection. Well, Cyrell, I haven't seen him since last year's gathering. So he was there. He took part in our uh, Scavengers of Fortune of uh, quest. So I don't. You know that you mentioned. I've never seen Junkhead and Cyrell in the same place at the same time. They were both at the gathering last year, but not in the. Same place at the same exact moment. Uh huh. I see what's going on here. <laughs> Alrighty. So, oh, Junkhead's talking about the uh, Stale Wind released. You know what that is, don't you? Ouija Mac. Oh. You know him. He's always dropping new new flavor, like all the time. Is there is there a new Ouija Mac? It's getting ready. It's it's in the pre order phase, I think, right now. Oh, where you can go Lord. under. Go on to all the uh, uh, things. He must live in the studio. <laughs> I yeah. swear. If he Dude ain't touring does. or something. Dude does. He's making moves. So I'm yeah. Good, good to see somebody working that hard. Because we're definitely not. Not like that. Nah, hell no. no <laughs> I ain't got time for all that. But but we do like to have the fun and talk about the mornings list. So Damn right. Alrighty. So let's get rid of all these icons because you know me leaving this shit up all the time and being all in the way. So, alright. So we got that. I uh, guess we will just go ahead. We'll just go ahead and jump into the first thing the Soul Rise Challenge. Challenge of Soul Rise, which is the very first challenge in the Grand 13 Theory. And. And I did it. I completed it. Hell yeah. Yep. I started that bad boy. Let me grab my. Let me grab my calendar. Would you Would you say that that's the easiest of them to complete? It was easy. I imagine the 
Nightscape counterpart is a little bit more difficult for the for the average working man. Yeah, I mean, if you have a day job like I do, mm-hmm. yeah, that that bitch is going to be some uh, pain in the ass. Oh, Lucky Bandit's in the house. Hi, Lucky Bandit. Lucky Bandit. What up? All right. So I started officially started that quest at sunset on June eighth. Was was when it first started. Okay. So you start at sunset. So it really began for me. I had to stay awake from sunrise to sunset on the ninth for day one to be complete. So it was completed there on the first day was completed at sunset on the ninth. So th- that wasn't too bad. Like those first few days, man, I was I had all the stamina in the world. It was no problem <laughs> at all. Uh, got through the next week, no issues. Did some live streaming. Uh, Recorded some videos on my phone that I'm going to eventually edit down into a little video to put up on the YouTube channel of, you know, about just just how the days took a lot of photos, like sunrise photos. Uh, I tried to take the really nice cameras out and get some footage. That, that shit did not work <laughs> because it was so humid in the mornings. That you remember when we went to and we did the the stuff for hit the beach. Yep. How those cameras would just fog up and they would stay fogged up for like an hour to an hour and a half till. Yeah. I mean, even the inner lens would fog up just where it was being in the air conditioning and got into a really humid condition. High end camera lenses do not like humidity at all. You know. So. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. And then we I rolled on. Uh, it really didn't get tough till about the, uh, let's see here, the 12th. That was a Sunday afternoon. That was that was the first day it was kind of tough because, man, those Sunday afternoon naps. Oh. You know what I mean? There's just it, something about Sundays. Yeah, because remember, <laughs> we, we played Morton's List on the 11th, remember? We were playing, that's when that bird shit on my face. Yeah. A bird legit. Took a poo-poo on my face while we were out playing Morton's List. Right in front of us. Yep. We were sitting on a bench. Yep. Right in front of us. Yeah, because it was <laughs> me, Hoy, and Stephanie playing Morton's List, and we'd rolled. What did we? We rolled hit the beach that day. That's what we were doing, because we went down to, yep. and we were doing hit the beach. And yeah. li- little did you all know that <laughs> I was actually going to the beach a little bit later in the week. So we got. Let's, let's see here. We were also able to. I think we got to hit the beach because we did a little, uh, little Twilight Lord three hundred and sixty yeah. using the powers. There. Yeah, yeah, we were, we were definitely using the powers. So here, here's a nice little photograph that my wife took. Well, we went down to Treasure Island Beach, which is in Florida, right outside of Tampa and Clearwater area. Ooh. And uh, she took this. This was, I think, the first day we got there. We first thing we did we. Got flew down, went and checked into the room, or got a rental car, checked into the room, and uh, and we're like, let's go walk on the beach. Absolutely, God, let it's me beautiful. Tell you, let me tell you, I'm still paying for that shit. Not not money wise, but like health wise, because I've I've had back issues for years and years and years, and something about walking in little flip flops and sandals. On the beach and in the uh, on the concrete, because we're actually our hotel was on the other side of the street. And dude, this is a long ass beach, dude. It was like at least two to three football fields from the water where we're at to the the hotels and stuff. You had this long ass. Wow. Yeah, dude, it was is the biggest beach I've ever seen. The most sand between the hotels and the water. Wow. It was crazy. It was awesome. So you had all this room, and everybody was really where we went in. With they were really spaced out and shit, because we were right by two tiny little ho- or three or four tiny hotels. So you didn't the the biggest ones were those monstro- monstrosities that were over to the right. That were probably they were only like ten stories tall. They were, they were, they wasn't even that tall. Most of them were around us were like three to five stories. Oh wow! So it wasn't it wasn't too too bad. So, but yeah. Yup. Yeah, it looks like a good time. Oh yeah, we had a blast. So so we did a little hit the beach with you and Stephanie, and then I did more hit the beach <laughs> with me. And this is how I ended my of uh, my challenge of solar rise. I was at the beach from. Let's see here. What was it? When did we get down there? 
got down, I think, the 17th when we flew in on a Friday. And I didn't fly back. I was there the morning of the last day, which was the 21st. Which was also the solar of... Or not solar, the of... Uh, the summer... Uh, so, summer solstice. Solstice. God yep. dang, man. Yeah, thanks. In the beginning of the yeah, longest day of the year. Yeah, so that's why I ended it nice. on the longest day of the year. I mean, I planned all this shit out, man. Wow. Yeah, so so that's how I roll. We planned all this. We'll go to camera two. So so we planned it all out. I, I planned it all out for, you know, for that to uh, kind of coincide. That's true. I didn't coincide. even know you'd, uh, I didn't know you'd planned it out to coincide with that. That's great. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything was all just planned out and you know so that way it was maximum freshness for that channel because if you're going to do it do it epic right That's, right it's like our motto or my motto our motto whatever we'll go back to camera one so if you're going to do it do do it epically so especially if you got the means and you know and all that oh uh let's see here it looks like uh uh hollywood 1317 has joined us what's up what's what up hollywood doing? hollywood in the house. <laughs> so, good to have you here with us. And I guess what everybody wants to talk about. They don't want to just talk about my my little silly challenges. Uh oh, shit. We lost a light, Hoy. Your light died. My light All did right. die. All you right. know, I thought I saw it on the screen. But yeah, I'm, but I'm blind. So. Right. so, I'm going to take a two second break here and fix this light. You go ahead and talk to the people. Word. So, Tell them about your week. My week has been pretty, pretty tame. Don't do too much. I've been going to going to the lake a lot, which has been fun. Getting in the water, cooling off. It's been so hot here. It's cooled off a little bit as of late, but we had a stint there of being in the 90s for quite a couple days in a row. Being in heat advisories and feels like temps being over 100 pretty rough definitely put those window you ac units to the test but uh yeah it's been been pretty chill otherwise creeping into the summer i'm just trying to stay cool i mean i'm not even i'm not even going to the gathering this year because oh, yeah. i am that big of a bitch about the heat just can't handle all that heat just turns me into a whiny puddle of ick <laughs> a whiny puddle of hoy yeah it's just it's madness alrighty there we are lucky bandit says go epic or stay home damn right oh are you prepping for the gathering lucky bandit hot hot damn that's what junkhead said hot yeah hot h-w-a-a-a-a-a-t hot hop on that amazon get one of those uh one of those neck cooling fan things i had a friend give me one at the gathering last year and pff, that uh, that thing was great rechargeable it was probably like 10 bucks on amazon oh okay. so they make really nice ones too <laughs> dribbly bob says no shade in thornville no shades all in thornville yeah i mean there was kind of no shades there at the gathering it was kind of like that at yeah the, at the old legend valley there you had to kind of that's why you should if you if you want, man, I saw a lot of people doing this. They had those little uh, umbrellas that had the little fans with the misters and shit. And they, yeah. they had their own little mist tent. So I, I know a lot of people think that that's a girly thing to do to walk around with a parasol or an umbrella, but there was plenty of dudes doing it too because you yeah. just you don't want to fuck around with the heat. You, you don't. don't. Want to, you don't want to get sunburned either. Fuck no. that, man. Dehydrate, sunburn. Nope. Sunburn day one at a festival. Oh, God. dude, that's that's just shit yeah you're gonna have to just come out at night <laughs> shit bring your own shade yeah or just wait till you know the afternoon so all righty so let's get in and bum 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 gathering of the juggalos gathering of dreams yep Tw 22nd annual legend valley ohio from august 3rd through the 6th so four days and uh, this is a full one now yeah, this full on four days of of well, even more freshness. if you're one of the ninjas that come out super early like our buddy Strange oh, and, yeah. and do the parking lot thing. Yeah, for they a parking minute. lot party. Yo. So I'm not much of a parking lot party guy. I will show up one day early this year. I will be there of 
Oops, here. I'm leaving. The, the eighth? No, it is. Seventh three? No, the second. Wait, when, it, when is the gathering? I just said the third. Is it the third? Yeah, starts on the third. So okay. that's day one. I don't know so I'll be there on the second. You know, probably like in the afternoon, late afternoon, like early evening. So, because I'm going to work half a day. Because I, you know, I, I found I found out this is what I do at work. It's what I do. I work a half day so I don't have to use a vacation day. And I can still make a little money, get some of my shit done at work. Because my job, you got to do a lot of it yourself. I'm, I'm like working on those jobs. I'm 100% commissioned. So I got to go in, make my money, do my thing. And then I can I can dip out. So, uh, okay, yeah, that's the way to go. Um, Deacon Abstract says two scoops of whoop. Oh, that's, whoop, whoop. That's who did that right there. Yep. Yeah, he hooked it up, man. Deacon's the one who uh, created our our channel logo. Yes, he did. And and definitely check out his other art. He's been doing it for a minute. Oh yeah. Uh, way over ten years. I couldn't even tell you closer. Probably closer to two decades. Definitely over a decade and a half. Dude, Self-taught. Dude, look him up. Love if you it. need some work done, you want to pay a Morton's List homie. Who, yeah. I mean, he was there. We He came out and hung out with us up at the very first Karmic Gathering up yeah. in Livonia. Uh, yeah. So he, he's been down with the, the list for a many <laughs> yeah. long time. He designed, let's see, he designed the Global Inner Circle logo. He designed the Three Star Ninjas logo. Yeah. Our events. He did all this shit for us back in the day, man. He's yeah. an awesome artist. So, and he's only gotten better with time. I mean, absolutely. Yeah, now he does. I feel bad for you bringing this up because I don't even know what I'm saying, but he does a lot of vector art now. I don't know exactly what that means, but when I look at it, it's very colorful, a lot of lines, really dope. All right. So... Let's go through. We got a lot of people in here today. We got seven viewers, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. So thank you all for coming on. So oh yeah, he did the high rollers logo. He did divas of dice too. That's right. Which high were our homies. Yeah, our homies here in uh, Knoxville. It was an all, all girl girls. inner inner circle. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. let's see here. Sign real infection says he'll get there. Day negative two hotel stay two nights drive in day zero before sunrise. Right on! Wow. Yep, 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 yep. All right. So, nice oh yeah, he did the Twilight Circle logo too. Damn. Yeah, he yeah. did. He did <laughs> yeah, all dude, the fucking seriously. logos for us. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we had T-shirts yeah. and that stuff. He did those hockey jerseys too. We didn't have hockey jerseys. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I thought there was a Twilight Circle. Hockey jersey. What? I don't know why I thought that. Yeah, well, we never we had talked about it once, I think. Yeah, we did talk about it. Because I remember being at Taco we're... Bell on Broadway talking about yeah, it. Yeah, because we were going to have the patches made, but it was yeah. one of those things that I, I just don't think it ever got around mm -hmm. to. Because it was going to be like some ridiculous amount, oh, yeah. like $200. Custom, custom stuff back then yeah, was cause... ridiculous. Oh, yeah, because trying to get just the patch, because we're getting legit front patches made. You know how Juggalos are in their jerseys? God, yeah. Everybody's got their <laughs> own jersey nowadays, so. All right, so I guess let's get into what's going down Morton's list-wise at the Gathering of the Juggalos. Which I tell you what, it looks like a lot more us than usual. Right. So, so that's wonderful. So, well, there's a, a lot of super official stuff this year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. official Morton's list activities. Right, super official Morton's list stuff going down, which will begin, it looks like, of Wednesday night slash Thursday a.m. because it happens after midnight. So mm -hmm. technically, it's Thursday morning. You've got the Morton's List Military Tactics Tournament. It's taking place at the Shadowland Tent Wednesday night slash Thursday a.m. Be there by mid. I would say be there right after main stage. As soon as main stage is done, yeah. be there probably around midnight. Uh, and it says, join the Morton's List crew. Uh, on the double for some military-inspired mischief. Uh, bring your fatigues, bring your camo, hell, bring a ninja suit if you want. This quest will be a competition. You will be rolling for ultimate warrior status with your comrades. So be ready for some <laughs> guerrilla tactics, possible melee, and maybe Ooh. some mandatory fun. Prepare to sneak amongst the shadows, blend into the trees, make yourself invisible among the crowd, so rally your troops, bring your brigade, 
but most importantly, place in Morton's list. So, word. It's, it, I don't know exactly what that event will be, but it's stuff, Morton's list stuff like that, that makes it super fun to do at the gathering. Oh, yeah. So, all that space to roam around, yeah. Oh, yeah. Plus, I mean, plus just the chaos of the gathering. Yeah. Do, doing shit night. like that. Yeah. At night, you know, <laughs> you know, from midnight to, it looks like on the official timeline, it goes on to 2 a.m. So, let's see, let me see if I can bring up that timeline. I'm going to try to, try to, try to, try to, try yeah, to. That, that timeline's a little chaotic looking. I need closed Photoshop. I don't need Photoshop right now. Sorry. Let's see, I don't need Scavengers of Fortune right now. We'll talk about that here in a minute. All right, let's see here. Let's bring this up. All right, I'm not going to be able to see any comments for just a moment. So we're going to go to camera three now. And then, here we go. There we go. Okay, that's about as big as I can blow it up right there. So, Morton's List, Military Tactics, Tournament, right there. It looks like 12.15 kind of lines up right there uh, till about 2 a.m., the, the, this is the only thing that bums me out. The 5K Blacklight Charity Run, uh, the sign-up is from midnight till 12.30 a.m. I really wanted to do that event, so I have a feeling it's going to be taking place at the exact same time that the Morton's List Military Tactics Tournament's going on. Mm. And it was a charity event for um, you know, like suicide prevention and stuff like that. So. Wow. So yeah. it's like light up the darkness, which is something right now that's uh, a lot of people are dealing with. Of uh, yeah, you know the uh, you know just bad thoughts and mental health crisis, and you know I was really wanting to, I was really wanting to help out with that and, and do something there, but you know you That'll can't dope, yeah. you can't be at every event at the gathering. Unfortunately, that's that's the only thing. It's kind of a, a bad thing about any, I guess. Um, festival music festival or or anything like that is you can't see every band you can't see do everything that's on the itinerary so let's see here let's go back and read some comments real quick and and deacon says he still has a shirt for the twilight circle we'll go on to so wow that's awesome <laughs> let's see here Junkhead, so your lucky bandit said Junkhead will be there in the second. Uh, I'll see here. Uh, Deacon said he also sent Tall Jess and Nathan Files on our old side project. Yes, yes. And let's see here. Junkhead says, I don't know. The dark worries me a bit, but somehow. Won an archery contest half blind, so karma always, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he, he did win the archery contest on Saturday. Wait, was it Saturday? Yeah, it was Saturday. Yeah. yeah. What was what's this half blind part? What? <laughs> what was that? I don't, I don't, I don't know. What uh, the, did he have the sun in his eyes? Or? No, no, it no. wasn't the sun that day. So, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. let's see here. Junkie said then the echo side. Heads up tournament the next morning. Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about those here in a minute. We're just getting through day one. So let's talk about this military tactics tournament. So uh, I have no idea. You know, I'm a Twilight Lord, but I have zero knowledge of what's going down other than what we just read. Yeah. So I'm sure it's kind of a be some Morton's List stuff, but they're going to incorporate some other things. Uh, I tried to have a conversation last night with one of the other Twilight Lords, but he wasn't feeling well, so we didn't get to discuss anything. I don't think he knows much about it. I think that's more on the, you know, uh, people that are putting together the uh, gathering of the Juggalos have all the information. Uh, so, of so. course. Well, we'd like to tell you what to bring for something like that, because, you know, we, we're always preaching about being prepared especially for morton's list but there's only so much you can bring and uh oh, yeah. <laughs> well that that one i would definitely bring bring some ninja or military stuff definitely fatigues yeah definitely want to blend in wearable stuff that or that shows that you're doing that because i'm probably going to go i've got some camo pants and i think i've got a 
one of the OG camo hatchet man t-shirts buried someplace I've got to dig out. Don't you have the, don't you still have your original Morton's List ninja outfit? I never bought one of those. Oh, you didn't? No, because they didn't make them big enough for fat asses uh, like myself. What the hell? So. There's fat have, ninjas. They, I know, I think, but they don't make, usually a lot of times, it's hard to find 3XL ninja suits. <laughs> is, I haven't looked. So yeah. I don't. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, usually I think they, they run about 2X as big, because they're like, there ain't no fat ninjas. <sighs> there are. What there the lots hell? Of them, I guess so. if you're, I guess in that culture, if you're going to be fat, you're just going to do sumo. Right. So. Oh, well. You just need a big Well, old, there you go. Just walk around in a big old sumo diaper. There we go. That's yeah. gotta feel. That's gotta feel good at the game. How about nay? No, I wouldn't nay, do that. No, negative. And come back looking like a tomato. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, and I don't know. I, I do. We want to, you know, gather some people to come up with teams. You know, because you want to talk about dominating. You know, we organize some teams and go in. Yeah, it so, sounds like it's going to be a team event because you got a squad or something. Yeah, that's what it was saying. So, so I think. I think this is where we should use the tools that we have, uh-huh. like the Morton's List Discord, yep, or the List Posting Discord, and we should we should uh, come up with some teams, some ninjas that are going. Develop your team, get with your homies. That way, that way you got a game plan going into this thing. Yeah, and, and even g- looking into other Morton's List events going on at the gathering, that would be a great opportunity for your little group to get together and figure out who's going to bring what for your Morton's List bag. True. Just saying, because yeah. you're optimizing what you got. Totally. So, you know, uh, you know, excuse me, come up with a few items that you can bring in, in a backpack, you know. A uh, good one from this, even though Hoy hates these things, those little uh, <laughs> silicone B or no, whatever, those little gel balls that oh, you know yeah. yeah always like fuck those things what are they uh, zorbies or something i don't know what they are yeah it's, it's whatever those they shoot the little thing that mm-hmm. then they break apart and they biodegrade and all that shit yeah it's, it's not anything that's gonna you know always like you better not hit me in the fucking eye i'll fucking murder you i only have one eye yeah. if they hit me in the eye so it's gonna be uh water water balloons would be a cool thing to bring <laughs> yeah and don't be one of them nasty bitches like our homie strange that puts <laughs> a bunch of gross shit in that or glitter Yo, or he puts gl- glitter. Yeah, puts glitter in that shit. Come on, man. You know, yeah. I mean, you don't want to fuck somebody's good time up. You know, water yeah. water will dry. Yeah, it sucks being wet. But, you know, but you start putting fucking mayonnaise and fucking, oh, you know, motor mayonnaise. oil and oh. shit like that. Don't do that shit, no. man. Don't do it pissing in water balloons. Nah, because I will legit beat somebody's ass if I get hit with a water balloon full of piss. Mm-mm. For real. So... But yeah, that's a good idea because that's fun. Can be refreshing. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what's some other shit? Water guns, you know, because uh, there is a water station there. Yeah. Where where you could fill up water balloons, where you could fill up water guns, stuff like that. Um, you know, that's cool. Uh, you know, don't be one of those assholes putting weird shit in there. Like the, you know, supposedly somebody last year was walking around with. Lacing shit and putting in a water or backpack sprayer, fucking uh-huh. spraying motherfuckers. So yeah, again, that will catch you in ass beating. So don't don't be an yeah. asshole. Don't do shit like that. Come on, everybody. Just we're there to have a good time and have fun. Don't want to hurt people or or make it where they're not having a great time. You know what I mean? So, all right. So let me get off my soapbox now. <laughs> you know. All right. So let's back it on up and. All right. The next day, let's see here. Let's get back here. Let's pull this up. Let's go full screen so you don't see all the background shit. All right. There we go. So Thursday, August fourth. This is Jump Stage Dream. This is his day. So a very first thing right out the gate at 1:30, you have the Texas Hold'em. Quest for Shangri-La and Morton's List Tournament. Looks like it runs from 1.30 to about 3.30. So, and be really careful with this event. The reason I say this is because at 3.30, the Morton Revealed Seminar starts. So you do not want to miss that event by, you know, because you know how it is at the gathering. Uh You start doing one thing, you get all into it. Next thing you know, you've missed the seminar you want to see. You've missed... 
so you know, easy to get distracted. So easy. <laughs> so, so watch out for those things right there. So I'd say set you an alarm on your phone or Apple Watch or whatever the hell you got, so that way you know. Yeah, because this will be this will be huge. It's, yeah, it's Morton, been a minute since there's been a Morton's List seminar. Yeah, fuck yeah. I have. So yeah, this is this is pretty pretty epic. Yeah, this is again the most epic year for of Morton's List at the gathering. I think in a very, very long time. Where, yeah. where it's official Morton's List stuff. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, I, I, I like I like where I like the state of Morton's List right now. There's a lot of waves being made. There's a lot of interest. There's a lot of a shit lot of enthusiasm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, really, this is this is the renaissance that we were hoping for last year with yeah. the twentieth. You got uh, a brand birthday. You got a brand new Twilight Lord? Yeah. So, what's up? What's up with that? So four. The fourth. The four, yeah, that's that's me. The fourth now. Mm-hmm. You're the fourth. <laughs> so. That's that's awesome. Yeah, so it's going to be good times. A lot going on there, and let's we'll see. I have no idea what's going. I, maybe that's just going to be a straight up Morton's list, regular. You know, again, I have no idea what's going on. I have no imp- being a Twilight Lord. I really don't know shit. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> well, Jumpy's known for, I mean, he's a planner and a schemer, so. And not a revealer of what. No. You know, there's a lot of secrecy in this, I've learned. Even from even from the other Twilight Lords, you know, there's, there's secrets. <laughs> I don't know, you know. I'm not privy to that information, so. Um, let's see here. But, well, okay, so the Morton's List Tournament, that's going to be going down at the Mad Movies Tent. And the reason I wanted to bring up the Mad Movies Tent, this is the first year they're going to have a huge air-conditioned tent. Supposedly, speculation. That's what it says. The movie tent is going to be air-conditioned. What I've heard. Well, maybe Hoyle will go and just hanging out in the fucking movie tent all the fucking <laughs> gathering or something. So, hey, haven't you never seen Star Wars? Ever? No, we don't need to. We don't need to open yeah. that can here. No, no, no. We can open it here. You know why? <laughs> because Shaggy's day, the last day of the gathering, uh-huh. in the movie tent, he is showing all the Star Wars movies, all of them, all day long, from the time his shit starts all the way till the very end of the evening. He's wow. showing all the Star Wars movies. Yeah, believe it or so. not, I have not seen Star Wars, so or Lord of the Rings, or and it goes on and on. I don't want to fill up the chat with all these angry messages now. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, oh, Lucky Bunny says, "Glad my first is Morton heavy." Yes, I am so glad. If this is yeah. going to be your first gathering, and you love Morton's list, damn, what a gathering to go for it to be yeah. your first is spectacular. So, don't know for sure, but we're really hoping our homies that usually run. Uh, the Morton's List tent are going to be there because they do they do a lot for just kind of introducing people into the game and, and all sorts of stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, if you don't know, if you don't go to the gathering much, but Chris, Tox, and Ian have for a decade now really put down. We got a video just uh, talking with them about what they do for yeah. Morton's List at the gathering, and they even have a Facebook page which is. Morton's List at the Gathering. Yeah. So if you want to look them up on Facebook. Please do. Look them up yeah. there. Uh, I haven't heard much from them either. I no. haven't heard much from anybody about anything. Mm-mm. So uh, one thing I'd like to talk about at the Gathering too is bringing back of Camp Karma. You know. Camp um, Karma. Yeah. I yeah, think from this uh, more than ever it needs to be the revival of Camp Karma. Yeah. And I think it's. It could seriously happen. And if it doesn't happen this year, then, then maybe we start. Maybe we need to start discussing for people that, that gather a lot. I'm, I'm not saying I'm a person that gathers all the time. I don't even camp when I gather. I I have back issues. It's like today I have some serious back issues just walking on the beach. Yeah. So sleeping in a tent on the ground for like five days is fuck that. Yeah. You know, so I've got a nice comfy hotel that, that I'll be enjoying. But, you know, I definitely think that some some planning uh, for camp, especially any of you ninjas out there who are, are putting in those degrees and you want to be a Twilight Lord and, and raise up in the ranks like that and join, you know, me and, and 
you know, Nathan and Jess and and uh, Jumpy and Jump Steady. Yeah. Yep. Jo- and to join those ranks, man, then you know, planning events and planning things like that, um, you know, kind of that's that's kind of getting your your foot in the door right there. That's how for sure. I mean, showing, that's that's an initiative like that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's how really I got to know the guys and kind of got on that path. I mean, yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, started so. a long time ago. <laughs> oh yeah, started, you know, yeah, very long time ago. So, so I'm just saying, we you, believe in you guys. You guys are, oh man, fully capable. I am hoping of... to see new Twilight Lords within the next one to three years. I want to see at yeah. least three, at least three new Twilight Lords in one to three years. Because you guys, you, the ones that we talk to a lot, a, a whole lot, you guys got tactics, and you're always doing them. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, again, it's a great time to be into Morton's list and the whole, yes. you know, the whole thing, and you know, so. so come on, let's do the thing. At the gathering. All right. Speaking of the gathering, the last thing I want to talk about at the gathering would be Epic Quest Ram Adventure event. We're I haven't planned it out yet. Of it'd be a short event, probably. You know, two to three hours, if that. So, and it would be just like kind of what we did last year with, we'd probably try to have some really quick way to find our table master, and yep. then straight into the quest, and the quest would be, you know, all about shit that you could do at the gathering. So, and I don't know if I'd have as, as epic of a prize like last year we gave away a Morton's List. And, um, you know, I don't know if it'd be as epic this year because we're, we're, our, our stash of Morton's list is very, very low. Yeah. So, so, um, you know, we're, we're down to scraping the bottom of the barrel with our Morton's list. Yeah. So, uh, but I mean, maybe, maybe we could figure out what I need to do is start. I need to sell more t-shirts. And with all the t-shirt money that I get, I just need to buy the Morton's list that people are hustling and selling and put them in the hands of people who are actually going to play the game. Yeah, because all the ones we've given away have all gone, all of them have gone to great homes. Oh, yeah. Even the one we gave away at the gathering uh, went to, uh, what's her name? Uh, She's, I I follow her on Instagram. Let me find her real quick. Was that two scoops? Uh, Well, I don't think that's her name name. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I can't remember her name. Name. Let's see. It's Ghoul something. Baby Ghoul. There you go. Baby Ghoul. Yeah. On Instagram. Let's see here. Where's the picture she had? She posted one just recently. Oh, yeah. Right here it is. Bam. And like on the side, that's her Morton's list and her boulders and some dice. Hell yeah. You know, so. That's I what's mean, up. Super cool. Super cool. She's still got her Morton's list. I mean, and she posts pictures of like the uh, uh, playing quest for Shangri-La and stuff like that. So, I mean, cool part. I think that was, whose partner was she last year? Was it Cyril's partner? Was that your partner? Yeah, Cyril. I think so. At the, uh. When you're playing, or was yours? No, your partner was Julie. Was Julie? I, I can't remember who was on whose team last year. I can't so. either. But yeah. Oh, uh, this year I will be taking a, a camera. And the things that I feel, Snow was that her name? Snow. I, I, again, yeah. Juggalos and their nickname. It could be. She yeah. does look like she has blonde hair. Yep. So I think you're right because she has like a chest tattoo thing going on, <clears throat> and. Post a lot of stuff about into the Echo side, and she has some facial piercings and stuff like that. Yeah, just a cool person. I mean, yeah. you know. Uh, but no, I'm going to take a camera so that way I can film some of those. Um, I talked with people last year about, um, you know, what what you what Morton's means to you, what Morton's list means to you, what when you. When you hear the word Morton's List, what comes to mind? I was grabbing all these reactions from hardcore Morton's List players to people, people who had really never even heard brand new Juggalos. That this is a first gathering and just only heard rumors. So all that footage got friggin' corrupted. Yeah. And I was heartbroken. Heartbroken. Because 
I wanted to put so I'm gonna try that again this year. So expect to see me at least one day or two days with a little camera coming up, just grabbing some. Yeah, I ain't bringing the whole gimbal and all that shit again. I'm no. just gonna bring. No. Oh, we Lord, I had no. so much gear last year. <laughs> I am not doing that shit again. Yeah, I'm bringing one camera. That was work. Yeah. Hell, I may even just film it on my phone because I do have a nice phone now. I finally, I finally up my my phone game and got one of those iPhone nice ones. Oh, the 13, isn't it? Yeah, I Pro. 13. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I bought. I mean, those. of course you have. It's got the. Three. Of course you have the 13. I mean, oh, yeah. That's when you get the new one. 13. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Judge me like that. So. All right. So that's what's going down. So what do you think Saturday? Two to five. Let's bring let's bring up that what's going on Saturday two to five. No, sorry, it ain't Saturday. Damn, my bad. Sorry, Friday two to five. I don't want to do it on Saturday. Sorry, Friday. Friday two to five. We'll bring that up. All right. So, Friday two to five. You've got uh bigfoot seminar and the wet t-shirt contest and i mean there's a few bands playing there i I hate i mean there's so many bands playing all day all night long yeah you're going to step on somebody's toes by doing a morton's list event Uh, oh yeah speaking of that i'm missing one of the bands i really wanted to see during the morton's list seminar i'm missing legs diamond man i'm so bummed because that legs diamond and the purple gang album is one of my favorite i I, I put it up there i was looking forward to it for so long too like when's this dude gonna do the thing oh yeah and he finally does it and it's right in the middle of the morton's list like the main morton's list yeah revealing who morton (laughs) is fucking seminar you know what i mean And if you're in the morton's list it's like son of a bitch of course i'm going to the damn of course i'm going to the seminar yeah if i don't give a fuck icp themselves are playing i me personally will be at the revealing of who morton is seminar yeah so you know it's just it's my shits so all right let's get back so i don't know what do you think inner circle about uh Friday at 2 to 5. Do you all want to do an Epic Quest Random Adventures event? Let's see here. Speaking of footage, what's up with the uh, Return to Reality footage? What junket? Good question. Well. Well. I didn't film shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I don't know. So that would not be Epic Quest Ram Adventures doing that one. So I think a lot of people sent some footage to uh, Jerry Terrifying, but he's had some computer issues maybe, I think. That's what I've heard. I don't know. No, 100%. Don't quote me on that. That's just what I've heard. As for uh, what's up on the official Morton's List in, again, I don't know. I don't know. I- I'm with you on so. that, though. I would like to see some footage because I know, I know Mike took a lot of footage. Mm-hmm. Uh, th- there was a lot of footage taken. Oh yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't know where all that landed. Yep. So, you know, it is, uh, you know, not in my hands on this one. So, but yeah. So let's see here. So I'm talking so much that I'm really getting parched. Are you? Yeah, man. I'm just so hyped, and we're already, <laughs> we're already 45 minutes in. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, it literally feels Every like we've been time. talking 15 minutes. Yeah, it really does. No, it's been 45 minutes already. Good lord. So, uh, I guess the next thing that we can talk about this is a minor, small Morton's list thing. Tiny, teeny time. The scale of if who is Morton? Morton revealed like this big. Then what I'm getting ready to announce is about this big. <laughs> and it, it is pretty much... Let's pull this up. Let's full screen it. Go here. Bam. Of Morton's List Open Invitation. Taking place here in Knoxville, Saturday, July 16th at 3 p.m. I uh, made a little event on the old Facebook events pages. Invited some people. You know, we got 11 responders so far. You know, if you want to come to Knoxville, play some Morton's List just for an afternoon. Uh, it's open invitation. If you yeah. Want to come. Unfortunately, next month is a Wednesday thirteen. Yeah, yeah. And not so. a not a weekend thirteen. Right. It's always fun when that happens. But but that does bring up another 
another event that I've created, if you haven't seen this one. Saturday, August 13th. There you go. I'm, I'm creating an event. This is, again, a non-official Morton's List type event. Semi-official, I guess, if a Twilight Lord's hosting it. I yeah. Guess. It's here in Knoxville again. It's not something I'm expecting people to drive across the country. It's not a karmic gathering. It's no, not a, 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 like the, with the castle and all that shit. Nothing like that. There's no tickets being sold. You just show up and play more. Yeah. But I mean, hell, if you just knocked over a tanker and you can afford to come out this way, please. Yeah, sure. Yeah. If, if your, you know, grandparents own, you know, some old company and you have <laughs> unlimited stock and, and, you know, reserves of gas then sure come on down but you know if you're just in the knoxville area and you want to come out and try some morton's list then hey right here you got two times it's free come on out the only thing you have to pay for is your own way through you know through the questing yeah yeah, through the questing whatever we roll another great opportunity to use that new coin too yeah but this is a this is especially for it's the morton's coin day that's what i'm calling it morton's coin day so you know, this is this is for the coin usage exclusively on that day because it's on the Saturday. It's when I have the availability to to uh, play Morton's List on a thirteenth. You know, because you know work schedule and junk. So still be uh, still be high off of the gathering. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, be right sure. after the gathering. Yeah. So. Uh, shit. You know what we need to talk about? Me and you. Yeah. What's up? Uh, we need. How does everybody feel about us making a semi-official uh, video of how to use the coin for those that really don't know? Yeah, I think we need to do that. I think we need to mm-hmm. do that before the gathering, so that way people at the gathering will be able to, you know, because of, um, will be able to uh, know how to use their coin and, mm-hmm. and the capabilities of the coin and what the coin is for. Really going to detail of why the coin was created yeah because i from what i understand slightly is that there will be more objects or something no, maybe n- I don't know. N- 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 no we can't discuss that that is that is no no okay yeah no that is that is yeah yeah i can't i cannot confirm or deny nothing of those such things words you just said you know what you should do what should i do on that Friday from two to five, it should just be. You should do just straight three sixty. A three sixty quest. Yeah, because then you can use you can use your powers. Other people can get degrees. Mm, yeah, that'd be cool. Be fun. Yeah, tell everybody to bring a quest log or whatever. Always need those excuses to log those quests. I was the worst. I don't know, man. A gathering is not a good place to be logging quests. Uh, personally, I would have a hell of a time keeping up with with would, my quest log at the gathering. Yeah, <laughs> because I would, I would be so afraid of dropping a page or yeah, or, yeah, or dropping the whole quest, leaving your bag laying down. And, oh god! Oh my god! Yeah. You do not want that thing walking off. You know, all my quests just gone. Yeah. Oh, uh, that would be heartbreaking. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> Cyril Infection says footage is now Exhibit A in the evidence locker. Oh, yeah, actually, we, we didn't have the way the quest went down for the uh, Return to Reality event. Man, everything was, like, mad positive. It was so much positivity and... From front to back. Yeah, awesome stuff. And uh, let's see here. Another uh, Hollywood1317 says she will be at both the events here in Knoxville. So so she is from a, a adjacent county, very close to Knox County. So, you know... Like I said, showed up and played Morton's List with us a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah. so it's awesome that new people or not. She ain't new. I mean, she, we've known her for years and stuff, but yeah. it's coming out and really getting into it. So, you know, we we encourage anybody that's in our vicinity because I'm really trying to get out. Even we've had Epic Quest Ram Adventures for a while, but we haven't really hosted many actual Morton's List events. And I'm trying to do that like once a month. I'd like to do a Morton's List thing. I'm really trying to do it once a month, you know, host something here in Knoxville for people that want to play and, and just kind of, you know, give them an opportunity to come out a, you know. And it gives people cost plenty any, of time to plan ahead. Right. doesn't cost anything. That's why, yeah, and I'm trying to really put these things out. You yeah. know, it really, you know, we're, well, 
I mean, it costs you whatever we roll to do the quest, of course. Of course. Yeah. But you know, it's it's not a. There's no of, admission. There's yeah, no, no yeah. admission. You don't have to. It ain't like the gathering. We've got to buy a ticket to the gathering and stuff like that. This is just show up. I encourage I, I I encourage everybody to do stuff like this. It just makes it so much easier. To it gives you plenty of time to recruit and those that are already down. It gives them time to save or plan for travel. Oh, you know, yeah. even if it's just 50 minutes across town, but, you know. All right, and you can, like, come up with rods. You can come yeah. up with a Morton's bag that your crew brings or individual bags yeah. for each person, you know, to... So that way, because that's one thing that when when you do roll a quest that... I mean, shit, we're even guilty of it. We don't have our bags together, so... That's yeah. one thing I yeah, need my to work bag constantly personally. shifts. Yeah. yeah, I need to... Well, you do bring a bag. That's right. You do mm-hmm. bring a bag with a few items and things. Yep. I don't though, so I need to get back on. It that. just it also helps because then you can spend money on on other things and not oh, okay. Now we got to go get tape and we right. got to grab pencils. Well, I mean those are simple things you could have already bought. Save time, save money. Oh yeah, totally, totally. That's why it's good to have and have everybody in the group be responsible for, you know. Oh, you're bringing pencils and this, then yeah. I can bring, you know, a deck of cards and this. Yeah, you know, yeah. Or, or I can bring this travel, you can bring the travel. Because if you had to buy, like, a travel board game every time or uh, drive all the way back across town to go to your house to pick something up. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of a bummer. It's kind of a bummer that you can't. Back in the day, I always wanted to have a big van that was just full of shit <laughs> to, to you know, when you that you may need for, you know, uh, a quest. That would be dope. You know? You know, oh shit! You need a grapple hook. Got one in the right. van. Like all these, you know, we need a lockers pack. and bins and stuff. Everything oh, yeah. organized. Yeah, just That'd everything. You couldn't even ride. You could have a <laughs> driver and a passenger, but the whole back looks like a work van just full. Of, yeah. And you just open it up. It's like, oh shit! We need miniatures and miniature paint. Shit, that's on shelf over oh, here. Right. You know, whatever. That'd be so, so dope. That would be <laughs> but yeah, again, you could fill up that van. Oh, and you want to talk about dope? You should hear my. Uh, my plans if I ever hit the freaking lottery. Oh, yes. Holy shit. Morton's Manor is all I got to say. Or Morton's Mansion. Yep. Could be a thing if I ever hit the lottery. Or if you all just want to give me just stupid amounts of money, I will make the shit happen. We need to hit up, uh, who's that chick? Be- uh, Jeff Bezos' ex-wife or something? Yeah. She's, she's giving away billions She's giving away so much. I think for a hundred mil, I could I could put together a Morton's List utopia for Morton's List. Let's, and, just, let's just go ahead and round it up to 113 mil. Yeah, there we are. 113 mil. Yeah, 113. That'd, that'd do it. And that 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 builds the facility and furnishes it because a lot of the stuff that's going to be in the inside that we need it would cost money too. Yeah, you know a lot I mean? of custom stuff. Oh yeah, so much. Well, custom. not even custom stuff. It's like. I would like that in the room for... Okay, imagine having an entire room or building dedicated just to Cosmic Law in every quest in there. So, tactical pastimes, that's one about miniature games and stuff like that. There would be like four or five completely painted Warhammer armies. And they'd be on a little shelf over here. For live action roleplay, you would have almost what I've got over here on my shelf... Oh, like yeah. my D&D books and stuff like that. For Tap 5 Get Live, you would have like a, just a bunch of already pre-made magic decks that you could just grab a deck of magic cards and just get ready to play. It's like, what do you want to play? A blue and black zombie deck? Got it. Do you want to play a red and green dragon deck? Got it. Yeah. That'd be dope. Sorry, I'm super nerd. So... Just picturing how that would all look, all the shelves. And <laughs> Cyril Infection says 360 mil, go epic. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Come on, yeah. yeah. We'll take $360 million. Come on, hook it up, Cyril Infection. So many people would definitely benefit from it, for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, we would have to... This is the way I would run this place. I'd run it like a business. But all you people right now that are watching, dude, you get to come all the time for, like, free. This is like, you know... But we'd also need people to work here because we would establish this thing as a playground for the you know the super rich and famous you know what yeah. i mean that's the way it would have because it would have to make some money to sustain itself yeah so what we would do is because we can make morton's list really blow up if we're, if we're putting that type of money into it yeah and then film the quest oh yeah oh yeah totally f- well this is what i do to pay 
while everything's being built, that year or two it would take to build this huge facility. Damn, I'm just giving away all my dreams. <laughs> of I would like to take that money and like take the Twilight Lords and we like hire some I don't know, some big influencer or some celebrity. You say, Hey man, how about you come out with an afternoon with us and let our film crew film us playing this game? And you take them out and you just film a Morton's List quest with them. And you open, so cool. and they're like, they're like, what is Morton's List? And you're like, you'll find out, you know. Make them take the, almost going in blind to it, you know what I mean? Ooh, but, yeah. but tell them, though, if it violates their moral code, you ain't got to do the shit. But, I mean, can you imagine taking some, I mean, yeah, that'd be fun as shit, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, my gosh. And then it would always be, I'd always be bringing random people from, I mean, Never forget where you came from. You know what I mean? I would always be bringing in like people that watch the channel. Jughead, Lucky Bandit, you know, Cyril Infection. Always inviting them out, you know. You know, hiring people like uh, Hollywood to to help work and run this huge facility, you know, because she has, like, that type of experience. Very and, personable, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And would know how to run. I mean, works in a tourist town, would know how to run touristy. Oh, hub. God, yeah. You know, which, which, tourist is, town. which is, this would be kind of a little different from that aspect, but still in the same business. Yeah, right in the same vein, yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> make a lobby. This is uh, Deacon. He's got to make a lobby, Morton's List, and the floor can have 30 uh, sections you gotta toss a, a basketball sized boulder against the wall and where it lands tells you which room you have to help, uh, go to <laughs> there you go what if you had a huge hotel that had 360 rooms oh. each room is just dedicated to that one certain quest holy crap man there'd be some weird fucking rooms up there dude yes there would, there would be some weird ones so Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're getting really close to the 2 o'clock hour. Is there anything we've forgotten to talk about? Have we forgotten anything uh, that you can recall? Not that we had planned to talk about, per se, no? Okay. Then... Um, yeah, I guess I guess we'll chat more about the uh, Epic Quest event at the Gathering. Uh, if you have ideas what you would like to do at the Gathering, please let me know. Um, if you if you're like, no, nah, just there's already enough Morton's List stuff on. We don't need an Epic Quest adventure at the Gathering. That's cool too. Let me know that so that way I just don't want to put in a bunch of work and and people not want to show up. You know what I mean? Because there's so much freshness going on. I don't want to overdo the Morton's List at the Gathering. But at the same time, if you want more Morton's List at the Gathering, I want to make sure it's available to you. And I would like to... All right, I've been saying this a lot. I don't know if I've really said it here on, on a stream or anything. But my role, I feel, as a Twilight Lord is I'm a servant of the Inner Circle. I'm here to make the experience fresher. That's that's what I feel my role as a Twilight Lord should be, and that's what I want to do. And I really, Very humble. yeah, I Very really humble. want this. You know, any way I can make the game fresher or provide a more exciting experience for for the player, that's what I want to do as a Twilight Lord. So, you know, I mean, I really. Plus, I always like the interaction, the the talking with people and. You know, that's why I'm so active on so many of the social medias and stuff like that is, you know, um, so that way, you know, I can really, I don't know, make experiences fresher, make quests, make your random adventures epic quests. That's what I'm here to do, <laughs> there man. You go. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm here <laughs> to do. So, all right. All right, all right. I see that, Cyril. I will. As soon as this is done, I'll send you a message in the old uh, the DMs on the discords. There, we can chat. That is totally cool. All right. So, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I'm thinking too. Just make sure. I see your Cyril. I see your Junkhead says Colt Daddy provides, and Hollywood says 
Uh, yes, yeah, she does have a business degree in this. Uh, yes, agreed. Yeah, that's why I brought you up. You'd be awesome to run this thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cyro Infection says also will be a B and B, B a bed and breakfast. So the the Martin's, Martin's Man, Manor. I, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, yeah. It'd totally mm-hmm. be like that. It'd be full service. So I mean, oh yeah, more than just breakfast, man. I'm serving lunch and dinner and brunch and. Levenses and all that. Sure. Every time you want to eat, you got to roll the boulder. And it's see like what hobbits. We will feed you like, <laughs> like it was. We, we're feeding hobbits up in this piece. So, what is my epic quest? Okay, Junkhead says, "What is my epic quest dream for the gathering?" Fuck, just oh, my dream would be for oh this gathering to turn on. A whole brand new crowd of people to play Morton's List with, and, and find a minimum of thirty new hardcore Morton's List players. Like these people to, to really experience Morton's List and have a great time. Honestly, and, you guys would not believe how many juggalos out there really believe some like Bloody Mary shit about Morton's List. Like they think there's some crazy ass yeah hoodoo they, like bad like weird hoodoo to it it's weird right they think the cult thing is like for real cult thing yeah like that's why we take it as a joke with the with the whole cult daddy thing and that's why i love it so much yeah i I love morton's list being cultish but it will never be a serious like cult cult scary cult where no 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 absolutely and we we just we, we we made it what we wanted Exactly. We took we made of it what we wanted. Yeah, I mean it's kind of, it's almost like I like the 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 three sixty makes it feels like being a Freemason. You know what I mean? Yes. Without all the bullshit stipulations of being a Freemason, like having yeah. to be a man, having to do this and having to do that. You know, this is anybody can you, you just play the game. You that's can, some scary cult shit. That's some scary cult shit when you really you got to believe a certain theology and bullshit you know mm-hmm. come on man yeah nah I'll nah. that's a hard pass right there yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's too much too many people out there trying to be exclusive and trying to force other people to live the way they want them to live out there right now we just saw a great example of that a few days ago I'm not going to go into details and get some political but man there's yeah I'm tired of people trying to tell other people how to really live their lives you know what? Based if, on their if, beliefs. Right. If, if it, it's, let people live their, if they're not hurting other individuals, just let them live their lives. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know. But that's all I'm going to say about that. No soapbox shit for me. We'll come down there. Let's see here. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Man, we love y'all. Thank you for yeah, tuning thank, in. Yeah, thank you very much, and, guys. Good crowd. Oh, yeah. Great, great interaction today. And I just feel our, our small little group growing, getting stronger, and you know, and hopefully Morton's List does the same thing, keeps keeps growing, and I want to be a catalyst to make sure that happens. You know I, I, mean? I know you guys are doing that too, for so, sure. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are spreading, and it, well, I want you guys too to to keep doing what you're doing and, and not be afraid of taking it to the next level, because anybody can, anybody can. If I can do it. Take it to the next level. If I can become, if me personally can become a Twilight Lord, anybody can. It is not hard. It is, it just takes some planning and, you know, and just coming up with ideas and executing those goals. You know, having goals, executing the goal. Absolutely. Yep. Simple. So, you know, don't be afraid. And you don't have to do it all. Just find the one thing. If, if you want to be the guy, like, like Chris and Tox and Ian that did stuff at the gathering, then do something at the gathering. You don't have to run the whole thing at the gathering the whole time. Yeah. Run one event at the gathering. Or if you want to run one event in your town once a year, if you want to host a big event that invites people from all the United States, then do it. That's what we used to do here. Yep. You know, I was never afraid to invite people. Hey, if you think it's fun, then come hang out with us, you know. Our first karmic gathering here in Knoxville was at a mainstay suite yeah. in a small ass little conference room that was like a hundred dollars a day to book. Yeah, which we looked at again for our most recent event, and we were like, "No, it was not the size, here again." Right? It was possibly. Li- <laughs> it was literally the size of my basement studio area, set minus this column 
It's right in front of us. Square footage wise, yeah. Yeah, it was tiny. You could if you squeeze thirty people in there, it would be fucking cram tight. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. You could start small. Small little hotel event or find something fresh, you know, and, and just hell, find you a little piece of property outdoors and host a camping event. Shit, that doesn't cost much. No. People can camp. Especially if you live in a place that has fantastic weather where it doesn't really rain and shit all the time. Shit. It's all good. All right. I'm just rambling now. Thank you all very much for joining us. Thank you, guys. We will be back at the end of next month for another Epic right, Quest. Right before the gathering. Right before the gathering, yep. yeah. It'll be hyped up. Maybe we'll have more information about what's going on and yeah, for sure. stuff like that. Who knows? But if, if you're going to the gathering, I'll see you there. You know, Hoy's not going. But, shame. hey, no, it's not a shame. I'm hey, going to stay here and cool. Hey, he's going to stay here. <laughs> that's that's Just do what you want to do. Somebody film that seminar or live stream it or something. I'll watch it, I promise. Uh, yeah, but the big <laughs> thing says no filming, no this. And I'm uh, like, why do they not take advantage of this and put it on, like, the Morton's List Twitch channel? Yeah. Why would you not take advantage of this and do it up? You know yeah, because, I, mean? I mean, people could be tossing bits and I just, yeah. Uh, I'm just saying it would be a great time. Or even ICP to put it up on their official Twitch channel that they really underuse, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, all right. I'm getting off the soapbox. We love y'all. Love you guys. Uh, you know, may all your random adventures be epic quest and kick ass and all that fun stuff. We love you.